How America Smashed the British Empire, Big Game 1941-1947 The years between 1941 and 1947 marked a pivotal period in world history, as the United States and the British Empire engaged in a complex geopolitical struggle that significantly contributed to the decline of British imperial power. This lesser-known episode, often referred to as the other great game, saw the United States assert its dominance on the global stage while the British Empire grappled with the challenges posed by World War II and its aftermath. The Context of Transformation As World War II raged across Europe and Asia, the United States initially maintained a policy of neutrality. However, the attack on Pearl Harbor in 1941 brought America into the war, shifting its stance from isolationism to active engagement. This entry onto the world stage had profound implications for the British Empire, which had long been a global superpower but was weakened by the war effort. The Lend-Lease Act and Economic Supremacy The Lend-Lease Act, enacted by the United States in 1941, was a turning point in the dynamics between the two powers. This legislation allowed the US to provide military aid, including weapons, equipment, and supplies, to its allies without requiring immediate payment. While the aid was intended to bolster the war effort against Nazi Germany and Imperial Japan, it also had the effect of strengthening American influence. The British Empire, struggling to sustain its war effort and finance its military campaigns, became increasingly reliant on American support. The vast economic capabilities of the United States played a pivotal role in the outcome of the war, but it also signaled a shift in global economic power. The financial and industrial strength of the US began to eclipse the economic prowess of the British Empire. The Atlantic Charter and Shifting Alliances In 1941, President Franklin D. Roosevelt and Prime Minister Winston Churchill issued the Atlantic Charter, outlining their vision for a post-war world based on self-determination, disarmament, and free trade. While this charter symbolized the cooperation between the two nations, it also exposed underlying tensions and differing priorities. The Atlantic Charter's emphasis on self-determination and decolonization clashed with the British Empire's desire to maintain its colonial possessions. As the war progressed, nationalist movements in various colonies gained momentum, pressuring the British to reconsider their imperial policies. The emergence of the United States as a champion of self-determination further eroded British authority. The Bretton Woods Conference and Economic Reorganization The Bretton Woods Conference in 1944 was a crucial event that solidified the United States' economic dominance and set the stage for the British Empire's decline. During this conference, representatives from 44 allied nations convened to establish a new international economic order. The US dollar was established as the world's primary reserve currency, and institutions like the International Monetary Fund, IMF, and the World Bank were founded. The Bretton Woods Agreement solidified the economic influence of the United States and relegated the British pound to a secondary role in international trade and finance. This reorganization further weakened the British Empire's economic standing and marked a shift in global economic leadership. The end of empire and the rise of superpowers. The conclusion of World War II left both the United States and the British Empire grappling with the realities of a transformed world. The war had exhausted British resources and exposed the vulnerabilities of its imperial holdings. On the other hand, the United States emerged from the war as an unrivaled superpower, possessing both military might and economic strength. The declining British Empire faced mounting pressure from nationalist movements in its colonies, demanding independence. The post-war years witnessed the rapid decolonization of Africa and Asia, further diminishing British imperial control. Meanwhile, the United States' economic aid through the Marshall Plan aimed to rebuild war-torn Europe and solidified its role as a global leader. Legacy and Reflection The period between 1941 and 1947 saw the United States effectively break the British Empire's once unassailable global dominance. The Lend-Lease Act, the Atlantic Charter, the Bretton Woods Conference, and the broader consequences of World War II all contributed to this transformation. The post-war world order was characterized by the rise of two superpowers, the United States and the Soviet Union, signaling the end of British imperial hegemony and the beginning of a new era in international relations. As we reflect on this pivotal chapter in history, it becomes clear that the other great game of 1941 to 1947 marked a turning point not only for the British Empire but also for the trajectory of global power dynamics in the 20th century and beyond.